Welcome everyone to another Truth Telling Tuesday and Happy New Year. So excited. I am Tanya Peluso and actually I am in India right now. So today I am really excited to share Allison Mark's truth with you. And Allison is one of our tribe members up in the Bay Area and she is such a rock star. And the reason I love her so much is because she is all about creating systems and structures that you can then flow inside of. So welcome, Allison. Let's hear it for the Tooth Telling Tuesday with you. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to start with just having you share a little bit about your big mission and your vision for 2012 to inspire all of us women. Absolutely. So, you know, my big vision really is around working with women business owners who are change agents. So I've coined a new term. It's change agent entrepreneurs. Yeah. People who are, you know, really feel themselves as part of the big change and the big shift that's been happening on the planet and really um, feel connected around the globe. So it's um, people who are really open, big hearted, big vision, who happen to find themselves in the position of having a business to, um, which is the vehicle for taking this vision and this, this mission out into the world. And so I am the one who helps them take that big vision and bring it down to concrete nuts and bolts reality. How do we make this happen here and now? And um, I'm uh, it's been really great. The last year, a lot of it has been about me getting more and more clear about how I put this together for myself to have a really um, a business that runs really well. And I'm I'm there. It feels great. And so next year is really going to be about solidifying that. And I've got some really good plan. So right after the new year, I'm going to be teaching a class that is already getting filled up, which is great. And I'm going to be doing some longer term programs for people and some other courses as well as some live events. So I'm really stepping it up. And, and for me, that's really exciting in my business. Yay. And speaking of 2011, what was your biggest breakthrough? Mm. I think, you know, for me, it was a really a huge year of growth for me. At the beginning of the year, I hosted a telesummit. So the beginning of the year was a lot about um, upgrading my systems and sort of upgrading how I see myself in the community of, uh, of women business owners and of business coaches. And I started to... Um, do more partnerships with people at a higher level and growing my business. I took my my business um, list from zero to over to almost five thousand in the wow. last. Wow! Yeah, so I'm really it's really exciting. I'm having you know it's been a great year and I think the breakthrough has been getting just kind of going through things and getting the last bit of clarity that I needed to get myself to where I am right now and moving into the next year. Awesome. And in Truth Telling Tuesday, we like to get juicy with sharing, you know, some of those more intimate, vulnerable places. So what was your biggest uh, breakdown of 2011? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, I do, I do the cycle thing a lot of times, so I'll get really into something and I do a great job and it, it's uh, very successful. And then when it's over... I'm like, okay, I'm just going to kind of keep going on this. And unless I move really quickly into the next thing, I kind of fall apart. And then I'm like, I think I should get a J-O-B because, you know, there'll be health benefits. And I, I didn't actually apply for any this year, but the thought occurred to me one time, you know, a few times. Um, there was one period that was actually really just dark. And I'm like, what am I doing? And I think that that's so much... Um, so much a part of the process, and I, I've heard it from enough other women who are entrepreneurs to know that uh, it's nothing to be really scared about. It's just it really is part of the process to to have 
big high times and then also times that are like, what the heck am I doing? You know? So I'm, I'm right there with you. That was my year as well. So thank you for sharing that and giving women the, um, the space to know that they're not alone and that we all go through those dark moments and it's just, it'll come back on the upswing again. So I just really appreciate you sharing that. Thanks. And um, the last thing we'd want to know is, um, you know, as we're stepping into 2012 and, um, you know, women are really uh, creating their visions, what is one tip that you can give women around living on purpose? Mm. I would say around living on purpose, so much of it has to do with, um, like, pay attention to how you feel. That would be the biggest tip, is pay attention to how you feel. Don't do things because you feel like you should, or that they are, you know, somebody's telling you to. Go inside or go big outside, whatever your way of connecting is, and, um, and find the true answer, the part that really resonates for you and that brings you a sense of openness and freedom and even sometimes joy, rather than any sense of obligation or um, shitting on yourself. Ooh, I like that. Thank you for sharing that. And the, the course is called Get It Done, have your first information product done and ready to sell in less than two months. Ooh, that's hot. It's going to be, it's going to be really, people are going to get really great information that takes them uh, really through the whole process from beginning to end. So by the end of the course, you have an information product complete and ready to sell. Thank you, Allison, for sharing your yeah. truth with us. 